There is a need, right? And it's pretty obvious. It used to be you didn't have to wait for FEMA or the Red Cross to come rescue you. You know, your neighbors would all pull together and help each other out. The Red Cross, you know, says, oh, hey, there's been this disaster. Just donate $10 here on your cell phone and, you know, we'll take care of it. And you can just go back about your life, about your business. But we need to find some more of a sense of community, you know, come together with people, put aside your petty differences, go out and help people wherever you're at. Just do service. I decided I was just going to do this. So I was a chef for a long time. I did catering. That's how I knew how to start a kitchen and a truck. We flew from Seattle to Philly, and we drove to Union Beach, where a couple of people had already scouted the area and determined that there was a great need that wasn't being filled here. And so now we turned our U-Haul into the, the You Hungry Cafe, and uh, we drive around honking the horn, shouting, hey, you hungry? We got hot food, we got hot coffee, hot cocoa. We pull up and just like, there's this sense of like, oh my God, desperation. Oh my God, hot food, we don't have any power, we don't have appliances. Even if they do have power, they don't have a stove to cook on. There were these two ladies standing in front of me who just started talking to each other because they're in line behind each other. Found out they lived across the street from each other for eight years, never met. So they had big hugs, sat down and started talking. They're really grateful though. A lot of people tear up, they get so emotional, you know, and it's just a little thing, a grilled cheese sandwich, a hot cup of coffee. Thank God for them coming, you know what I mean? Without them, half of the time, we wouldn't have nothing to eat, so we're thankful. We're a hospitality wagon, we're, you know, that's why I dress silly like this. We're also a morale, morale wagon, we try to be a mobile morale troop. Oh, I think they're it's wonderful, they're a godsend. <laughs> A lot of people have asked us, well, who are you with? Well, we're not with anybody. We're with ourselves. I tell people, well, we're, with, we're with you. Well, who said you could do this? Well, who said I couldn't do it, right? It's just kind of the mentality that we all have. Because there's professional organizations that do relief work and, and that's all that people know, they, then they start to think, okay, well, I don't really need to actually do anything. It kind of creates a barrier between ordinary people doing what's right. And I think that's where we fall short. FEMA, Red Cross, Salvation Army, they can only be so many places. They can only do so much. But if you just have the inclination to go do something, go do it. If you know you're doing good, if you know it's going to help people, go do it. And wait for someone to tell you, stop, you can't do it. And then say, well, why? What law am I breaking? What harm am I doing by helping people out? Being of service is the highest honor. So anything I can do to be of service. And you have to balance that. Unless you're gonna give up your life and give all away your possessions and going around being of service. I mean, that's beautiful. That's like what Gandhi did. There's a way to balance that and still have your own life and still be of service to your community, whether it's your community locally or across the country, around the world. That's what we are. We're just your neighbors from the West Coast. Coast to coast, we're all one.